stakes even higher. How many laps do you think you've done in the ring in your life? 14, 15,000. Okay. How many times have you crashed? I'm just wondering. Oh, many times. Yeah. I can't count, actually. <laughs> right. She'd laid down the gauntlet to Jeremy. He'd driven around the Nürburgring uh, in a Jaguar, and she'd said, I could do quicker than that in a van. All right, then. However you say sunshine in German, we'll get you a van and you can, you, you can, uh, you can try. It was scary, but not terrifying. It was fun, because she was in control. She was doing what she did. Yeah, I sat with a lot of fast drivers, and they make it look easy. She made it look joyous. It was a real privilege to be alongside her when she, when she went for that, and then to be thrown out of it because I was just wait, and I'd not get in the way. Go. I don't think Sabine would have allowed a quarter of a second to be missing from her at that time in that van. I mean, she properly threw everything into it. She did want to beat my time. The brakes ah, are burning. She screwed literally everything out of that thing. Jeremy, everything's for you just to beat you. Of course she didn't. She was in a van and I was in a jag, but nevertheless, you know. Sabine's exploits on camera had made her a cult icon. And in 2016, the beginning of a new chapter for Top Gear 